Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? My name is JD and today I'm bringing you guys a new Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer video on the map Militia and we're playing a new game mode which is called Stockpile and here you can have, by the way see me get one kill and now the gameplay is actually going backwards uh, just to make sure that you can actually see the name tags of these players in theater mode. Theater mode, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, it's been quite buggy but to be honest I'm really happy that Black Ops, like the Black Ops series in general, launched the theater mode because it gives me such an easier time actually recording these videos. I can pretty much just pre-record gameplays or I can just play the game, enjoy the game and whenever I have a good gameplay or whenever I have something that I want to show to you guys, I can actually look back into the gameplay folder pretty much into my history of games and I can record this gameplay and then do an audio afterwards and then upload it to YouTube. It's, it's amazing. So I really hope that Modern Warfare is going to offer me this type of option. Otherwise, recording gameplay videos is going to be pretty complicated. But in this gameplay video, you're going to see me popping off. It's a new game type. It's called Stockpile. We haven't seen it before, but it's pretty much just a combination of Kill Confirmed and Hardpoint or something along those lines. I don't really know what it exactly is. It pretty much makes you pick up dog tags on the ground. And these dog tags, these dog tags, sorry, that you pick up, you're going to be able to put them into a central point, a central hard point. And that's the only way for you to really confirm kills. But yeah, it is what it is. I really kind of enjoy this gameplay. Um, I really like this game mode, especially when you're playing it with friends who are kind of reliable teammates. Then, you know, this game mode is pretty good. Uh, and what I really like about the game mode in general is that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and especially Treyarch with that is releasing new type of game modes here and there. They're also releasing new types of guns here and there and that is actually the topic of this video. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 has seen a lot of different new guns being released in the game. Some of them being available to everyone like the Galil and a lot of them or most of them being available only to DLC people or people who get lucky and spend money on crates. And that last part, especially the last part, is an issue that I hope that we're not seeing again in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So with this new Call of Duty, they've already pretty much just released, told us that they are not going to be having any DLC map packs, right? They're not going to have any DLC map packs that you have to pay for. Everyone is getting every map, at least that's what they've released at this point. And that would also mean that every gun that they're releasing, by the way, that care package is, is glitching there. That was also in game. That's not just a theater mode glitch, but it was just acting a little bit weird also in game. Um, but when it comes to weapons, because we don't have any DLC maps that you have to pay for, it's also very likely that we're not going to see any weapons that you have to pay for, which is insane, which is really good, which pretty much just makes it that everyone is equal to each other in this game. And exactly that is what you're looking for when you're releasing a Call of Duty game. You want to make sure that all the statistics, all the guns, all the maps, everything that is combined in this game, you want to make sure that everything is balanced and that everything sits well together and that not just some players have an upper hand over other players because they own specific guns that other players in this game do not own and very often you can see in this game like there is this s6 thing ray with grenade lounge bullets or anything along those lines by the way this is a pretty nice move I almost don't have any health. I pick up a few extra health points there and I get hit again, but I pick up that kill. So I'm I'm really going off here. But people have the S6 Stingray or something along those lines with rocket lounge bullets, which is just insane to think about it. Like, come on, it's a war game. It's, it's, it's not realistic, but still with Modern Warfare trying to be as much realistic as possible, it's still a Call of Duty that started with a World War Call of Duty and the first few games of this Call of Duty series was about World War, so being, you know, a real realistic Call of Duty, it just makes no sense that you're shooting bullets and when you hit a bullet, it becomes an explosive. It's, it's just weird. And then having a crossbow that is a one-shot kill 
to whatever part of the body, that part to me is also really weird. And it's just making the game very, very unbalanced and very strange and also frustrating to play, right? Like, we don't want to play games in which we're playing against opponents that have an upper hand against us starting from the beginning of this match. Yeah, you can maybe get an upper hand, you know, compared to your opponent by getting kill streaks by playing well in the game. But at the beginning of a match, I really think that everyone should be equal to one another. And then by developing a game, you can see who's going to be dominating and who's going to be having the upper hand over the, over the other player just because he or she is playing better than the opponents. And that's how it should be. And that's how it's always been before Call of Duty advanced warfare or something along those lines so just if there is something on my wish list when it comes to call of duty uh, modern warfare i really hope that we're just seeing balanced uh, updates balanced patches balanced gun releases just everyone having the same guns having the same chances to kill each other pretty much um now with that being said I'm not too worried about it, even though it's it's Infinity Ward, I would be kind of worried about it, but I, you know, I read some statements before the beta was launched and before, you know, there was a lot of information about the game, and it just seems like that they're gonna do it right. It, it seems like that this Call of Duty might actually be a really good Call of Duty, even though it feels so much different from my beloved Black Ops series, because Black Ops is pretty much the game in Call of Duty that I'm definitely the best at. Times to kill are a little bit slower, the guns always feel really good in general, and yeah, yeah. Treyarch is doing a lot of things right, just a few minor things they're doing not right, and that is kind of very frustrating, and it, it's also messing just with the game. Um, just going back to this gameplay video a little bit, you saw me dying once, I will actually only die once in this whole matchup. I'm not really picking up a lot of tanks because I want this game to go on for as long as possible just so I can get as many kills as possible just in general. Um, when it comes to stockpile, I also really hope that Modern Warfare is trying out new game modes. Um, of course, you know, try it out with public games first, but to be honest, this is a game mode that you can also play somewhat semi-competitive, right? Um, so it, it's a pretty competitive game mode and it's really nice to see that they're switching up some game modes and adding some things to um, the game mode roster pretty much. So hopefully we see that with Modern Warfare as well. And um, yeah, so far, so good. So I'm going to be playing the beta quite a lot. If you want to see some Modern Warfare gameplay, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'll make sure to actually add that um, to my video list. And I'll try to actually come up with a recording of a good gameplay. Like, that is actually, up until this point, been pretty complicated. Just because in this game, I'm able to go 61-1, and one, you know. I've... I've outplayed this game, even though I haven't, pl I didn't play this game until April of this year. Like, I just never picked it up, I never really played it, I only played some Blackout and that's kinda it, but yeah, this game turned out to be a really good Call of Duty in my opinion, and I'm really happy, I'm really, really happy that I picked it up. So that's the gameplay, hopefully Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to be an amazing year, just like Black Ops 4 was at the end, and um, yeah. I see you guys next video. Thank you.